Hello, my lovelies. I am narrating a video for you today. We might have a few of these over the summer because of my kids. We're going to be using the Metafast Brown Gravy Mix. This is the um, nutritional value. If you buy it, you'll have it, or you can just take a screenshot of that. You see this? I don't do any of this. This is what's on the package itself. No, no, no. I don't do any of that. That's too much work. You could have easily taken these chicken breast tenders and put them into a Ziploc bag and just shake the um, package in there and use it kind of like a shake and bake. For the demonstration purposes of this video, I just clean them with lukewarm water and I set them out on a plate. Going to cover it on one side, sprinkle it on, turn them over, cover them on the other side. As they sit for about 10 minutes before I cook them, they're going to mix with the chicken fat that's on there and it's going to make itself a little bit of a gravy on the outside. Nice coating. Big ass jar of chopped garlic. One chopped onion and one small can of mushrooms, stems and pieces. I did drain those mushrooms. And we're gonna have one heaping tablespoon of chopped garlic. I did spray the pan with olive oil spray, by the way. And then the onion and then the mushrooms. And we're gonna soften this up on a medium to low heat for about four or five minutes. I'm gonna push all the vegetables to the outside of the pan and we're gonna be, see what happened to the chicken? You see how it just sat? It makes its own gravy, and then we're going to be putting the chicken in the middle of the pan, spreading it out so we have as much contact with the surface of the pan as possible. We're going to be putting a lid on this, keeping it at medium to low heat, and we're going to be setting the timer for six minutes. I'm not going to touch it for six minutes. I promise. Swirls of smoke. Six minutes has gone by. We're going to be taking the lid off, and we're going to be turning the chicken over. It did stick just a little bit. Um, you'll see that a little bit sticks, but it's easily, you can easily just pull it off at the bottom of the pan. And um, it was delicious. It was really delicious. So the caramelization of the onions is starting. And um, that's really the only reason um, why I use the onions. So we're just going to move those onions around a little bit so that the, you know, whatever is touching the pan doesn't get burned. We're going to put the lid back on, <clears throat> still at medium to low heat, I haven't touched the heat or anything. And we're going to put it in for another five minutes. Again, not going to touch it. During that five minutes, I'm going to be making my little cucumber salad for the side. I'm going to use one heaping tablespoon of Opa Caesar dressing. And no, I can't do two things at once. I'm filming and I'm spooning. I'm going to dilute it with uh, white vinegar because I really love the taste of vinegar and I didn't want to have to use two tablespoons of the dressing. So I've only used half of a serving. That is one half of a very large cucumber, peeled and diced, I guess you call it, or chopped. And now our chicken is done. Bam, bam, bam. Done. This was a delicious meal, and just now as I'm watching it back, I, my mouth is watering because I didn't have to add salt. I didn't have to add anything to it. So I have a zeroed out scale. This way I don't take into consideration the weight of the plate or the vegetable. And I am going to be weighing my lean. This is the way I do it just about every night. It's really important to weigh your lean instead of, you know, as opposed to making a point to weigh your green. You really need to weigh your lean. This is going to give me four tenders. But I am going to end up taking one away because it's over six ounces. I'm trying to get as close to six ounces as I can. So I'm going to take that big tender away and I'm going to replace it with a smaller one. And then I am going to give myself a couple, maybe three or four tablespoons of the onion garlic mushroom mixture. Not a full serving of this because I have a lot of the cucumber there. And just so you know, I did eat a little bit, a very, very small green salad earlier in the day. And that is my lean and green. Isn't that delicious? Doesn't that look delicious? And then I also have like one and a half to two servings waiting for me either tomorrow or my husband will eat that whole thing tonight because he's a big dude. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.